Okay, we're live. Wait, what? <laughs> we're live during the <laughs> during the trailer? Yeah, why not? <laughs> See, he's doing things like different this. already. He's already, already doing it different. <laughs> <laughs> I love grooving to that music. Because <laughs> Pete was all ready to be hidden. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on, folks? It is me, Rich, from Bacon Ice Gear Productions, and I get to introduce Pete from Classy Gaming Fun. That's right. What's going on, Pete? Hi. How you doing, buddy? Loving the new rebrand. We've got Ed Rich from Crow Dash 9. Yo, yo. What's going on? What's going on? And, of course, Crow from the Crow Continuum. How is it? There you How's go. it going, man? We're good. All right, cool. So, welcome to the Evercast, your weekly Evercade show where some people come in and talk about cool retro games and all sorts of good times about this fine little device right here, the Evercade. So, <clears throat> what do we got this week? Uh, we got all sorts of cool stuff. We got some talk about some spooky games. We've got a cool retro gaming magazine reveal. We, of course, we've got the Evercast score challenge, and then if, then we wrap it all up with some talk about Mega Cat Studios. But before we get all, all uh, going and running, how are you guys doing? How was your week? Awesome. Very Big week good. for me. Yeah? My Montreal my Canadiens finally won a hockey game. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> oh, and I rebranded the entire channel. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just yeah, but but all it's all it's all about the uh, it's all about Montreal. Yeah, exactly. They suck. <laughs> <laughs> Two and six. Been a oh, horrible no. start to this movie. Oh no! Well, I got a new oh, mug. No. Yes, check that it's out. It's a happy day. I love getting. <laughs> that. I like that. It's good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. All right, what about you, Eddie? Good. You're, you're, it's going on good down there. Yeah, everything is good. Well, I, I told Joe real quick just to let the audience know because I know this week I did horribly at the high score challenge. I don't want people to think that I'm, I'm making this up for that, but uh, last night when I was playing Xeno Crisis, you know, on the hard difficulty, my left D-pad went out. You uh, played too hard. <laughs> but I've, I've went ahead, I've already contacted every kid support, so they're going to so they're gonna just, take care of it. I, I only bring it up because I doubt I'm going to get one Friday, so I may not be able did, to Did it just week. stop working entirely? Just the left like, button. Oh, like just you, the left button on yes. the D-pad. Okay. Yeah, and you can like tell like it's a little bit like it's a little bit loose and. Here's here's my follow up question: Is uh, now that it's not working properly, have you considered taking it apart? Um. If, well, it depends. I'm gonna. Uh, yes, I have. It just it depends if they want the old one back or not. Okay. If they don't, if they don't want the old one back, yes, I thought about that. Taking it apart, having like a spare parts. <laughs> yeah. That's usually, awesome. if, if I something I have stops now. working. If something uh, I have stops working, the first thing I do is take it apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that would be hilarious, though, like, if uh, if they wanted it back and I sent it to them and they're like, I thought just the left D-pad went out. Who's played there's more, Evercast more to me, and I've had no problems with mine. Oh, I've, Did I get, like, the Superman problem. of Evercade consoles or something? I mean, you, you no, know, mine, you mine works just fine. I've never had a problem with this. <laughs> there he goes. Let me show you my, my soldering skills there again. I'm going to brag. Look at me with nice. my IPS nice. screen. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So Crow's hopefully... playing pinball and got me into Zachary pinball again. Thank you, Crow, Ooh. for reminding me. I have that on my yeah. Switch, man. Okay. I spent two hours playing my classic tables. It's everywhere. It's two ninety nine. That's what I paid for it. I looked at my receipt. You said ninety nine cents, and I'm like, I didn't pay ninety nine cents for my classic well, tables. For the retro tables. Yeah, it was two ninety nine. I checked my uh, my account on. Nintendo. It's different on every platform. Okay. I think the pricing. <laughs> Yeah. For PC, it was probably a dollar. <laughs> I think you might have mentioned that PC at the end. I might have caught that, but anyway. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, I mean, I'm sort of looking at it sorted there, Ed, with your with your device. Yeah, that'll be yeah. good. What about you, Crow? How's it? How's it going on for your week? Oh, pretty good. Um, actually, right after this, I'm heading to the Pinball Expo. So nice. as soon as we're done, I'm out of here. That's a, that's a good that's a good time right there. Yeah, awesome. All right, well, have some have some fun doing that kind of stuff. As for here, um, another busy week here at the house, doing all sorts of cool stuff. Um, got a boiler, so that's a big plus. Got some heat <laughs> in the house, um, loving it, loving it. So, but a boiler, uh, so you mean big... like a hot water tank, right? 
No, no. Uh, it's a furnace. Yeah. Oh, you guys. Uh, oh, okay. We use natural yeah. gas here. Yeah. So do we. Uh, I got some natural gas. That's what I'm going to say. Nice, nice. But yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Ed. You're much funnier while I'm not the host. <laughs> 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 so it's a uh, so it's. I didn't know worst guest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to be professional anymore. I just got to be classy. That's all I have to be. That's it. That's it. So um so anyway yeah it's um it's good it's good to have you know the heat as I did it's getting into the colder months um so it is uh it's very good to be doing that and checking off some major boxes which is awesome so let's kick this off and start talking about some spooky games so um we were having uh, some chats earlier and uh we were talking about you know of course like you know we were getting into the holiday season um you know we got all sorts of like spooky games that are already available on the Evercade. you got games like haunted house you got splatter house you got all sorts of cool fun stuff there um dracula um and um we're just, we're just trying to think what else might we want to see in the spooky game category come to the Evercade? So I kind of put it out into the chat. Um, uh, so chat, of course, feel free to fire off and we'll, we'll pepper them in. Um, but as far as the hosts go, you know, do you guys have some picks that you might want to see come to Evercade in the form of spooky games? I do. So, all right, Pete, hey. we'll... I Let's think hear. NES. I'm always NES for the yeah. Evercade. For some reason, it just seems the easiest. These are Very IPs. Cool. These are IPs, but they're kind of like dead IPs in a lot of ways. Because uh, the only reason is because I bought them. I think Jaws would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Because that game. Because yeah. like growing up in the 70s, like like late 70s, like mm -hmm. I've got a big affinity for the music of the horror films of that time. And Jaws sure. just had that music. And still, when I'm in the water and the ocean, I'm like freaking sharks around here and mm -hmm. then so definitely jaws and plus it's it's an okay nes game it's not great but it you know there's water and you know there's a fishing boat and all that kind of stuff so it's pretty mm -hmm. cool and then friday the 13th from nes that, okay. that game still gives me chills to play i love both yeah. of those games you just so. yeah and it's funny is when we first got an nes those were uh, a couple of the first two games we had was jaws and friday the 13th so those were oh, like wow. the first two games yeah. I not necessarily played on ENS because I played at other people, but in my own home. Yeah. Like and you just had me thinking, what if there was an LJN collection? Oh, sweet. Right? That's, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. That rainbow? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the logo. But like Jaws is great. I grew up as a fisherman, right? My family was fishermen. So the fact that you play is driving around in a fishing boat and you got to watch it for jellyfish and all that crap. Like, yeah. it's so <laughs> awesome. Uh, but yeah, and then any of those NES classic games that were based on horror movies of the time just have that nostalgia for me. And no matter if they look stupid and silly and that, it's just the music, that their take on the music was really good. Yeah, Monster Party is a great game that might be the greatest Halloween game on uh, the NES. That is, is a pretty good one. There's, um, I mean, there's the obvious ones like Fester's Quest and whatnot, but okay, so <laughs> here's one that I know that I would love just because I'd like to have a physical copy. I mean... Castlevania, you kill vampires, you get to be all types of like I, I would. If they oh. ported the Castlevania collection. I would take that, have like a real book. What, a what about copy. the arcade? The arcade Castlevania Haunted Castle. Ooh, Ooh. Th throw that, that on there is, for something. That game is difficult. That is, <laughs> mm. I like that. Ridiculous. Throw that on there for something difficult too. That can be some cool stuff. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so if I can uh, slide some stuff in there. Um, so, what about the? Like monster fighting game genre, I get some dark stalkers in there. That'd be kind of true, neat, right? That's one yeah, of my especially favorite with, games. Especially with the yeah. DS, you know, you got some couch co op old school fighting stuff. It's a little bit niche, you know, some people um, immediately know and they're like, oh man, this is it's so great, but that'd be a cool reintroduction well, even of if, the IP. Even if they got the PlayStation versions, if they had to go with the console versions, you got dark stalkers and dark stalkers 3 on PlayStation. Yep, 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 yep. You know what though? The dream, um, the Dreamcast version, I'm pretty confident would uh, would run because with Dreamcast, it's kind of iffy because that that runs fairly well on my fire, like like on a Fire Stick, and I know that like the Evercade is better specs, especially the uh, the VS, and if they did some tweaking, and that's just through RetroArch. So if they had like a dedicated emulator, mm -hmm. it would be even better. But yeah, I, I totally remember Darkstalkers. I'd settle for the PS1 version too. That'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, another one. Um, that uh, it might might be annoying 
to you some because of the the audio, um, the unfortunate audio. But I'd go all the way back to the twenty six hundred. Maybe slide in some Halloween um, on the on the twenty six hundred. I'd love to just see it live again. I wonder. To I be honest, owns, I just yeah. want to see it again. I love the. I wonder who owns the who owns the license to that game now. I think it was though. Wizard Games. Um, <laughs> I don't know even know if they exist anymore. And of course, you know you got to go through the 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 ACADs and whoever owns the IP now. Yeah, exactly. Who um, owns it now? <laughs> yeah, it was who owns the movie IP? Isn't it um, is it, I thought he. Is it, I thought he is it, uh, it. Is it ACAD? Uh, you know, full stop, or is it Blumhouse? You know, not Blumhouse, say, but. Uh, uh, I thought it was Halloween Mustafa. Movie. I thought he. I thought he bought the. Or does he just own the rights to Michael Myers? Maybe, but I thought. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, good question, um, man. But that would be that'd be neat to see. Yeah, Speaking of that, like, your Halloween sign survived. Man, the right? music in that game is so creepy. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Halloween's the ultimate, ultimate horror movie, in my opinion. I, I mean, I agree. I, it's I agree. the greatest I horror and worst horror movie ever. It's the Pokemon, <laughs> basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. you know, and then, of course, you know, on the other side, there was actually, I it's think there was a double card. Universal. Right? There's Universal owns. Universal um, owns Halloween now, because that they're the ones that had the, um, put out the most recent movie. Nice. Nice. So, you know, that would be cool. That'd be cool to see that. Um, and of course there was, wasn't there like, um, wasn't there a Xenox cart that had Halloween and then oh, Texas there's Chainsaw a, Mar- Ghost, Massacre? Ghost Manor. Ghost Manor. There's Ooh, Ghost Manor. Oh, Ghost um, Manor. That's right. Yeah. Um, that'd be cool. Because yeah, I used to have of, that one. Yeah. <laughs> all sorts of fun, cool stuff. Oh, and um, they have to throw the arcade version of Splatterhouse out there too since you that know, was since what i was gonna bring up yeah. either the arcade yes. version or the turbo graphics version of splatterhouse uh because we have two and three but we don't have the original as long as it's but, the as long as it's a yeah. japanese version because it's really lame that they had to censor uh, i don't really care that the mask is purple in the u.s version dude, <laughs> well, and they, yeah. that is green and all that it, 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 it ruins brown. it because it's you know supposed <laughs> to be like supposed brown. to be like jason Voorhees, you know but like the good jason Voorhees. yeah but the mask yeah. in halloween for 2600 is brown isn't it or is it is it brown? Yeah, it's not white, right? I don't so know. It's a, it's if I remember, kind of like that's weird, a side scroller yeah. in Atari, and he just—that's all he does is Michael Myers just goes like that the whole entire mm-hmm. game, yeah. right? Yeah, before. yeah, and then he, and he just have to like run away, and yeah, yeah. I don't even know how to beat the game. <laughs> you don't beat Atari I, games. Did you yeah. just not beatable? Like, do you just do you just play them until you throw your controller? <laughs> well, there's definitely something games. you can finish. Oh, I know. Sure. I'm joking. Yeah, um, but um, but yeah, no, no, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, and Panic, uh, what, uh, Psycho Pinball, that one Halloween table. Well, yeah, that's true, too. We've got, yeah. we've got that. But there's plenty of real hollow, like spooky-themed uh, pinball machines. There's actually a pinball company called Spooky Pinball. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, there's another shout-out for Texas Chainsaw, yeah. yeah. I never played that one. Um, I heard it was, again, kind of like those, those two wizard games were like, eh as far as game goes but um again i just i just want to see cool old stuff just come back and this is like the perfect place to put it right you know the evercade is kind of where that stuff lives you know those old obscure games that everyone forgot about just come and live again it's kind of cool yeah the lgn collection would be awesome I, I think a lot of people would disagree with that. I was kind of kidding. I wasn't expecting everybody <laughs> well, to be excited over games. an LGA collection. Yeah, but I like I mean, movie I mean, collections. I like movie collections. I like movie games and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, L- LGN would be all, all right, I guess, to see. I, mean, I think it would just be cool to actually just have it on a shelf, right? Yeah. You know, for 20 bucks, you got every, you know, like all the major LGN games or whatever. And it's like, all right. And you can but pull it, it would down be difficult because there's so many different licensed LGN games. Oh, of course. Like, of course. Properties. <laughs> oh, it's a mess. Yeah. yeah. But that was the great thing about growing up. You'd see a movie and then you go buy the LGN game, play it, and say, oh, this is crap. <laughs> but it was just time to rent, right? rent it. Yeah. Like, I mean, Sorry. come on. Alien 3, the game. It's probably the one version, yeah. one game that's yeah. better than the movie. I mean, Maximum oh. Carnage was amazing. That's a great LGN game. Mm hmm. Well, and, and actually, all the wrestling games. I mean, they made a lot of good games. Yeah, that reminds me too. Um, speaking of uh, that spinoff from Alien Three, um, we can get some Alien Syndrome. That's a kind True. of spooky game. That yeah. was a Master yeah. System. Yes. Yeah, it's a Master it was, System. Yeah, arcade. I actually played that on Commodore sixty four back then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, the arcade version of it is the uh, Master System version, right? Aren't they the identical? Alien they're, Syndrome. They're similar. 
they're similar, but the the uh, the arcade version has I think more more levels, and it has um, obviously the upgraded. Oh, I like, thought graphics. it was just the board. Uh, the Alien Syndrome was on the arcade board that was pretty much as powerful as the Master System. Maybe no, I got no, 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 no. It was definitely it was definitely uh, was on a better upper, board. Upper edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I did that I actually. I'm, on is a, it on the Astro City? I don't know if it's on the Astro City or not. I'm curious. I, I thought it I was. Had, I had it on my um, I had it on my Legends Ultimate. Your biggest fun, miss with all those five on portables, both like those Astro Cities and Neo Geos, they don't have batteries. I wish they had batteries, because then they'd be mm. much more like you don't have to worry about plugging them in. You supply your own battery. <laughs> See, for me, what I for me, what's a what's a big miss, and maybe it defeats the purpose of getting it. I wish they just had like an on-screen version, like a cheaper one that you could have it be more like a real like home console and you could just plug it in with two controllers and put mm. that and put that out for a hundred bucks and I'm all, and I'm all in but mm. I don't even get me started on the title one how like grossly expensive oh, Al, that Al, Al <laughs> seen, uh, <laughs> Alien versus Predator was better than the movie. I like that movie. I love the whole take on going down to Antarctica and all that. And a real thing approach to it. Yeah yeah. I That's like true. Alien versus true. Predator, the first yeah. one. People diss on it. The second one was kind of crappy where it was in small town USA and it was Nothing but blood everywhere, but I like Alien vs. Pirate. I like the fact that they put yep. those two universes together. <laughs> I love how it's on there. Too. It's on there. I can't oh, nice. Port. It's on there. That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Alien Central is great. The... I, really, I really like it. I mean, those yeah. bosses get really I'm hard. I'm going to watch Alien vs. Predator tonight. But, um, yeah, that, that's cool. I might have to. You got to check out some spooky movies. I mean, Halloween's I don't all like horror go-to. movies. Halloween's uh, an awful holiday. I love I, I watch. I, I watch Halloween horror. every year. Um, yeah, you know, during during no, the holiday no, season, got it. I, got it. I own about all of them on DVD. Uh, it's newer. another, it's another good pick. I'll try to creep in there. Oh, Zeta Zeta oh, yes, seventy eight hundred. Yes, that'd be oh, cool. seventy eight hundred. Oh yeah, we we'll get a little uh, bit of talk about that in just a little bit. Yeah, I was yeah. playing Dark Chambers. Oh my god, the emulation of Dark Chambers on the Atari VCS is amazing. Yeah, it's it but it's uh, missing one major thing, one uh, major thing in that game. Really, that the VCS. VCS Oh, well, never mind. we'll put a we'll put a pin put a pin in that. We'll come back <laughs> to that in a second. I held that second. secret for so long, <laughs> and then I wasn't even allowed to reveal it. Freaking yeah. so, uh, so uh, if I ever meet uh, Ryan and Sean, I'm only buying them one pint of beer instead of five because of that. Uh, there's Chris sitting my so um. So yeah, zero zero tolerance or Doom would be also oh, the cool Doom things. on Xbox. <clears throat> I mean, they already had it running. <clears throat> you know, first issue of uh, Evolution, right? Yeah. They showed Doom running on the arcade. I mean, that could that could happen. Well, I mean, shoot, it licensing now would be man. crazy. Yeah, that that'd be that'd be crazy licensing. I guess you got to go through Microsoft now, right? Because oh, they yeah. own Bethesda, who owns ID. Who why is Creep telling me to wash my mouth out? What did I say, Creep? I don't know. He said something about you said something about uh not liking something. <laughs> uh, oh, oh! Yeah, I think it, I think it was the uh, not like in Halloween movies or, or uh, no. Yeah, I love horror, 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 horror Halloween. Horror I just don't like watching horror movies because I got like I said I was watching movies when I was five. I shouldn't have been watching. It scarred me for life. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny times. Um, and then my going, wife said she was going to put on the uh, the ghost face mask and, uh, and, and and wake me up in the middle of the night. And I said you do that. You know I go to jail for murdering my wife because I would wake up and just like, go into animal mode. There's evidence. <laughs> and she goes, oh, okay. Because <laughs> my so. wife scares me all the time. Because if you ever watch Korean horror movies, yeah, it's always a small lady that looks disheveled crawling on the ceiling. So my <laughs> wife takes her hair sometimes and throws it in front of her face oh, and no. starts walking towards me like all disjointed and stuff. So I turned around one day. She was doing that. I literally ran into the house. I'm like, "Holy crap! What the hell's going on?" It was so dark in the house. <laughs> she was nice. doing that. I'm like, "Oh, nice." Oh uh, yeah. So my wife's Asian too. So you know. <laughs> kind oh, of just... saying zero tolerance is owned by Pico. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we might. I mean, that could be a thing that we could see. Oh, Pico you know, collection like a, three. Pico yeah. three. Yeah. Why not? Right. Um, and then you know, right, right before we uh, we move on here. Uh, we got the one last one in there. Everyone play Alien Syndrome remake on Wii. I have not. No, me neither. Um, the Wii is a yeah, useless could be, console. Could be what? something. To, could be something to check out. Wii? I mean, so like, yeah, I don't know if you, you can. How do you get uh, that? No, right? you can just yeah, you can. I have mine soft modded, and you can just go to the Magical yeah, Archive, and you can download all the. 
the Wii stick. Yeah, you've got to. No, you can't get it legitimately. Yeah, Mr. Hacker <laughs> the head. But you can get yeah. it. You know, you can, you get, can it. get it. Yes. Yeah. Some poor guy is not getting his residuals because Ed is uh, <laughs> his game. He's like, I can't afford food this month because Ed didn't. Buy Listen, my I, I believe in like paying for contents if if it's out there. Sure but, if it, but if it's not, but if it's not out there, there's no way to get it legit. Yeah. So it, uh, well, you can go uh, buy it. that game on the Wii. <laughs> No, you can't. you can't. Oh, it's the digital. Okay, now. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that's the point. That's the point. That's yeah. Okay, <laughs> you, uh, you, you do your legal stuff then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, cool. So, um, so we we teased it a little earlier. Let's let let's let's move let's move on through to there's been, there was a reveal on Retro Game Magazine. Um. So Pete has said he's been holding on to this one. I've hold on to that secret time, right? for like six months, and <laughs> they they didn't give me a heads up that they were being revealed in the magazine. I don't have Retro Gamer magazine anymore. I don't have the subscription. So, so, so yeah. So in this in this uh in this issue, let me see if this will work here. Let me just show our window here. Do one of these. There was this fun thing right here. Atari Collection One and Two unlocks. Dark what is Chambers? that? The seventy-eight hundred version of Dark Chambers. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that for so long. Couldn't tell anybody, but yeah, that's super awesome. Though I do have one complaint. I'd like to have Dark Chambers as a part of a collection myself, as opposed that's... to an unlockable. But it's hey, okay. I'll yeah, take yeah. this. The word. You know I kind of just assumed that if you put two cartridges in the game would just the hidden games which automatically reveal and stay on your system you forever know what, yeah. so i just I don't I, know about that i've re i've reread this because it says on the main screen with any cartridge inserted then you press so does that mean if you have any card in the game all your unlockables you just press l and r and start and then you get to see all your games unlocked is that what that means mm -hmm. that would be pretty cool I, yeah, yeah i don't know it, it's kind of cryptic I'll have to test yeah. it. Oh, dude, this looks this so is cool. the best 7800 game to slay. This Diablo, pretty much. Um, <laughs> I, I, just, I, I wasn't yeah. too fond of this game when I had it. Oh, I love it. I uh, think it's great. I finished I'm, it so I'm, many times. I love like, I'm a big games. fan. But yeah, I'd rather fan. play this than the 2600 version. Yeah, 2600 yeah. version is more, you know, slow yeah. speed. Yeah. This one here, it's all about don't try to get to the next floor as fast as you can because it's a high score chase, right? So you want to get everything in each maze and each floor. Like I was just playing. I just bought this on the uh, seventy-eight hunt on the Atari VCS because they got mm -hmm. Flashback Fridays for three bucks, mm -hmm. and I started playing Capture Video for it. And all of a sudden, I'm on floor P, and I'm like, "Oh my god! Like I, I gotta <laughs> finish it again." Yeah. I, and uh, it's just a great, great seventy-eight hundred game, except for two things. First, with the game itself, there's no music, which sucks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah, second yeah. of all, on the VCS, if you're playing this, there's no save states. So the VC, uh, not V, uh, the Terra VCS, no save states. So the VS will trump it right away because you'll have save oh, states. Oh, really? Yeah, that's that's a huge. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because yeah, in the seven, VCS is just an emulator, so they didn't they didn't put any of the cool stuff that. So the V, if you're gonna mm -hmm. play it, and you own the VCS and you own the the VS, geez, how many V's are in the world now? Right, yeah. Um, buy it on the VS, or a, you'll already good... get it. Well, the, the one thing that I, I kind of don't like about the game, too, is as you're shooting the characters, they transform into other characters. Well, there's certain ones, right? The wizard is four <laughs> kills to get done. So the, the skeletons are one. So I love that fact, right? That you have to you have to make sure when you enter in every part of the room, you're planning which ones to take out first. You really It's like Gauntlet, right? You really got to kill the base that's yeah. spawning all the enemies. And I love the fact that there's certain side weapons, like the bomb clears everything in the room, and and you get the health or and then if you go for the health with just the heart you think is the health thing it's not it actually unlocks another ladder room that keeps spawning enemies out so just be careful the heart doesn't mean health in this game <laughs> right yes i love this game i finished it probably in my life on the 7800 because i have it on the 7800 uh i i at least 30 times i can't nice. wait for this so this so, so there so there is indeed a, a level cap there um, yeah, well, you, I consider finishing when you hit the finished alphabet, which is floor twenty six. Got it, got it. So, 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 when, you know, when it loops back and you go to double A, double B, all that that stuff, that's just like extra yeah. game to you. Yeah, okay, got yeah, it. for yeah, me, yeah, it's game plus. It's what game happens plus. if you clear through that though? 
then can you actually beat it or will it keep it just going? Keeps, no, I think it keeps going. I, I've never done, I've never really gone past, I think, double, I don't know. I, I usually stop because I just, I just want to challenge myself for my high scores all the time. So, yeah. But I don't know, Ed, that's a great question. I've never really, because like, that could yeah. take hours, right? Yeah, yeah. But this game, if it had music, it would be probably one of the, for me, best ver- best actually, games of that genre, of that era, the, you know, the 8-bit era. Well, that's how much I love the it. the 7800, they, unless they put a pokey chip on the cartridge, it would have yeah. terrible music. Yeah, we just have 2600 <laughs> music. Yeah, yeah it keeps well, moving too, 70, I think so too, yeah. Yeah, the 7800 sound chip was not stellar either, so yeah, if they did try to put in the music, it's like, it'd be, it'd be no good. Well, I like this game, too, because I'm a huge fan of um, Gateway to Apshai on the ColecoVision. Mm-hmm. And this is a much more playable version than that. <laughs> but I love that that game, the Apshai series. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, I can't I can't wait to get my hand this, hands on this on the uh, on the Evercade. This uh, was captured on my VCS um, yeah. as as well. So I, I picked it up on, on Flashback Friday um, because... Uh, I wanted to play it now. <laughs> and next week um, I'm doing my um, Extra Life thing, and uh, oh, sweet. I'll be playing yes and Evercade exclusively next week. So you'll awesome. get to see this game and a bunch of other stuff on the Evercade. Cool, very cool. Very cool. I wish I had my VS because I was playing like it would lined up perfectly. But <laughs> I'm supposed yeah. to be getting the VS for te- for play for review this month in November. So there you nice. go. Nice, excellent. I mean, it's definitely some things to look forward to there. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, this game is, is super cool and it's, it's neat, right? It's neat to finally like know a little bit about, um, you know, the unlocks and have that reveal go through, which lets us then, um, you know, speculate, um, about all the other fun things that we can possibly see, you know, like what other kind of reveals do you think there might, there might be folks, um, you know, and do, does anyone want to adventure any guesses? So Funny that you mentioned that, Rich, because I uh, say spoiler alert. My my video next week, I'm actually, I actually talk about, I actually talk about that and talk about the the secret menu. <laughs> oh, okay, cool, cool, very cool, very yeah. cool. Yeah, and I and for the first time, I'll just give a hint. I actually say the word Amico, so hoping the trolls uh, aren't, aren't out there, so I'm uh, taking a chance. <laughs> so, don't mention it, okay. man. Don't mention it. <laughs> they just like they just like a bat signal in the. Uh, in the the I'm a miserable person universe. <laughs> oh, there we go. Someone said, "Oh, I better go." Oh, 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 oh. Better get my idiotic comment out right now. Or the world will <laughs> but it um, is. I should do a video. Well, so, that. That's pretty funny. So the one, <laughs> so the one thing that we did learn about go, this the bat signal for idiots. <laughs> <laughs> With the one, the one, the one, the one, the one, uh, the one thing about this kind of confirmed. I know we've talked about this and put the dual cards. So I think I may have talked about previous one of my videos, at least we know that guaranteed all the two collections, except for the Namco's are going to unlock a, are going to unlock a game. I'm pretty sure. I mean, that, that, that would, that would make sense. We know this for sure. Just, but I'm basing it just on the, on the first one. I mean, it it would make sense, right? Because I don't think that they want to torture their customer base and be like, if you put in like Xeno crisis and worms, it'll unlock a game. Like they could do that. But I think, I think for, for licensing, See that's the other thing. I think for licensing, they have to they have to keep it all within the same license file because technically it's another game, and if they're licensed for it, maybe they're only licensed with using those cartridges on the VS because you have to buy those cartridges from that publisher to unlock it. Right. So. Well, on that note, I still think that um, with the uh, Technos Arcade Collection and the Technos Console Collection combined, I, I still think you'll uh, get the Arcade Double Dragon. Yeah. Mm. There's that, no reason not to. <laughs> that seems it seems like a that seems like a good pull. I mean that yeah. that would be that would be a no brainer. Don't mind now, the lag. Now so, here's a here's a mystery. We've never played it any other way without lag, right? <laughs> my my mystery pick, right? Because it's only really one, and there's not a whole lot of other titles to do another another collection in this in this uh, thing. Unless I'm unless I'm wrong. Unless there's like buried stuff that's in other territories. But what? You know, this is total wish list, right? What if you put in Oliver Twins and then you put in Codemasters, right? And those forces combine to give you micro machines. Dude. I think that's well, they, they I, know, I, I love know. that idea, but I think they need to put micro machines on its own cart to sell it. Because they'd sell I, yeah. hundreds yeah. of thousands I, I, of that just in why, in England. 
Why agree, would they but... pay Hasbro for the license for Micro Machines only to have it be a hidden yeah. game? Don't okay, do that. Yeah, yeah. Make money out of this game because <laughs> so we want yes, Evercade forever. So don't uh, don't do that. But I agreed. They got to put mm-hmm. it on there. But Rich, I think it needs to be on a cart because literally yeah. they'd sell. Well, yeah, I mean, that could, that could literally be cards. like Code, Codemasters Collection Two. Like, could literally be Micro Micro Machines and two other games. Can, how many versions of Micro Machines are out there across? I don't platforms? know. There's a lot. They could put them all. Yeah, put them all on there and just the say, "This is the Micro collection. Machine. This is the ultimate yeah. Micro Machine collection. Go to town. Give us all your money." Well, maybe they'll give see, us. See, that's a better. That's a. I guess that's that's a better move. Yeah, that's yeah. why I was like, I, "There's so many versions just, of it that, and a lot of them are. Most of them are good, right? Like, yeah. I haven't played them all, but yeah, I just I just didn't want to, um, you know, lose the chance to say Micro Machines again oh, because they are keep putting it in the air. Al got a good comment in there. (laughs) So Al goes, they said that you had issues with the first Double Dragon. No, the issue is that the uh, uh, Double Dragon always had slowdown. It always had. Nobody's ever played that game without slowdown unless it was hacked. So just put it on there. Like, we're okay with that. So I have a theory about, and actually, I I talk about this a little bit, but because the VS is a little bit beefier, a little bit beefier, CPU, more memory, maybe it it performs, you know, maybe they were able to fix that. It performs better on the VS than the handheld. And that's their way of making oh, yeah. it exclusive to the But have you ever played it in the arcade? Like, it, there is slowdown. Like, I don't remember that as a kid, though. Yeah, like, so that's all, I'm okay <laughs> with it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just give it to me. Like, I just want to play it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can conceivably see, like, four micro that. machine games being on the Evercade. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So. <clears throat> but, yeah, I also agree, too, yeah. with the sentiment about those, those Lynx games getting the, you know, a Lynx hidden hidden gem sliding in there, and then also, yeah. of course, you know, with 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 another collection. I mean, there's plenty of Lynx games left uh, to do another collection at yeah. least. That's like it's the first thing I'm going to do is put in two when I when I get mine. Put in two of all the I, yeah. Every single collection is going to do it. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with that. I'm just going to accidentally do it. Like I that like gonna throw well, that in. just seems like work. <laughs> If not only you have to have the two cartridges in there, you have to hit a certain button combination too. It's going to be even harder to find. Well, these yeah, I, I'm not really. You see, that was the wording of it. it. It said with any card in the system, you could press out. So I think if you, I think once you unlock it, if you have any card in there, you you don't have to put those ones specifically back in. That's that's how I'm reading that. Yeah, I'm going to leave I it to Ed to do this for me. I'm not doing none of this work. Ed's going to tell me how to unlock cards right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, looking, nice. I'm looking forward to nice. that. Nice. I'm, I'm really, to be honest with you, on my VS, um, I'm basically going to put two of my big uh, games that are lengthy, the collections that have lengthy games in there that I'm really interested in finishing, RPG games. That's yeah. what's going to sit in my main VS all the time, like the one over on yeah. my, my TV. Yeah. The one here to, that I'm going to use for capturing footage is going to be the let's test cards kind of thing. Yeah, but yes, yeah. I can't see Pico leaving my collection very soon. Se- very often. Second slot for me, day one for a long time. Well, I've got yeah. to finish Brave Battle Saga. I put that on hold until I got to VS. I want it on the big <laughs> yeah. screen. I want to. Yeah. I want to restart the whole game now yeah. that I know a lot about it and just go through yeah. that. It's like thirty hours, so I want yeah, to yeah, yeah. It helps yeah, not play that I'm, on battery. <laughs> I'm wait. I'm waiting for the VS because I want to. I I want a stationary thing that I, you know I don't have to worry about like unhooking and uh, and doing all that stuff here. Um, in my new setup, uh, so that way I can start doing things like I want to do like a little series and then just go through, you know, all of canon, you know, and then like have that just you know dump uh, dump that out on a Sunday or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so if people want to, you know, go and hang out and watch uh, full gameplay of a of a game like that or or Brave Battle or any of the other cool RPGs on there. I mean that's that's been something I want to do for a long time, um, and I'm just waiting for the VS to do it because Dude, the, I'm scared. I'm scared with doing it with the you know, with the Evercade, um, the way I have my setup now, actually, I don't even have a cable. I got to go get one for capture. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm just too scared to be out in like this long session. And then, you know, I'm going to forget the save or whatever. And it's going to blow on me. And yeah, just, I know. That, that's a problem. But don't forget, though, the renovation broken. collection is going to have several RPGs. So yeah. I can yeah. see that. I can see that. I'm really looking the- forward to that one. Like, like, I, I keep forgetting about it because it like, annoys me that it's so far off. Like, I kind of got to just got to. <laughs> Just got to forget about it because you keep thinking about it. Oh, yeah, I can't play that until next year. So many things can happen. But the, mm-hmm. the Galico collection is probably the one I'm anticipating the most because I'll have it soon, right? In the next couple months. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there so, an RPG game on the Galico? Cool. I don't no, think so. They're arcade games. There's a yeah, beat em up game, arcade. right? Yeah, they're all. Yeah, I think there's a game. Oh, yeah. Galico, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
or Gail Co. Yeah, because you're yeah. saying Gallico. I'm like, wait a sec, we're not Gail Co. Yeah. I know no, they're Gallico. confused. No, that's Jalico. Yeah. Not Gallico. Jalico. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, but I get what he has. Gail. See, I don't know. It's a Spanish company, so I'm assuming it's Gail Co. Right. I think so. I think yeah. that's how it's pronounced. Yeah, Not but positive. that one looks great. That one looks fun. Like yeah. it's gonna be weird because we're gonna be overwhelmed with so many collections at once. It's like, like the Intellivision collection. Like I had to get, you know, that's gonna get a lot of love in my uh, on my console. So, yes, very, but very. Those are really quick games, so that's really that's good. gonna be that's gonna be good. I'm gonna I'm gonna be diving into that as well. Also, speaking of Intellivision, it has nothing to do with Evercade, but something might be appearing here very soon. I'm very very excited. About oh, it. your flashback. Yeah. Nice. You're yeah, getting yours getting, modded, right? Getting a, yeah, I sent I sent it out for the HDMI mod, so I can actually finally do capture on that. Yeah. I've been waiting mm-hmm. to do that as well, so it's going to be very, very cool. Very cool. So, um, yeah, agreed. I agree. Also, Galico is going to be pretty awesome. Pretty awesome times. But, um, yeah, we got some cool things, like, you know, uh, you know Warbirds would be great. Um, Battle Wheels, you know, to, to do the unlocks. I mean, we, there's so much more that we're going to find out as soon as the, the VS comes out. So it's going to be it's going to be really awesome to find all those fun, cool things. And um, yeah, I like that that comment too. Um, only 325 possible combinations. So of course, of course, somebody's going to do it. I don't want to do it. It's too much work. Yeah. Well, you know, you know that the people over on the uh, uh, on the other side, somebody in the non-official is going to do Ed. it. It's gonna so, do it. Well, that's, so that's, here's, yeah. here's our master technician when it comes to finding that stuff. Well, here's so I don't want to ruin it for everyone, but you know. I'm here for the comedy. Crow's here for the visual effects. Rich is here for setting an agenda. So we're sick. so being we're like an actual, you know what? I, did, I should have. I didn't even think of this in my video, but being that all the games are in the firmware, what's to prevent somebody for when it comes out from downloading the firmware and data mining it and finding and finding all the games? Uh, I'm not yeah, sure. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, well, he, I mean. Maybe they're Are you all sure? Like... It's on the firmware. I mean, it's possible that the firmware could update the cartridge, and it would right. be on one of the cartridges. So you'd have mm. to have one of the cartridges in there, right? Well, you have to have an unlock, right? So there's got to be. They got to. They made it. They might have had some kind of forethought, right? To put in like two, two pieces of one code. So when they when they put them. Oh, the I don't think. I don't, I don't think. Yeah, they, like, they I think it's just or... the key to unlock it. And I'm not saying that if you data mine the firmware, that it'll even tell you how to unlock it. It just made, you know, they may just be able to find the list of the games going through the code. Yeah. I mean, well, that would just be sad face. I don't, I don't know if I, I, I would just be like, you know what? I don't want to know. I don't, I just want to find them, you know? And then they're like, as they're, as they're revealed on how to unlock them, you know, like, you know, I want to find it out that way. Like this retro game re- uh, magazine reveal um, and, uh, you know, like that kind of stuff. So. You know what they might do? You know what they might do, Rich? It should be great because now we have to wait a whole like you know we get two games and have to wait a whole month. Maybe in between that time, they may just give us a code and say, "Hey, while you're waiting on the next collection, here's yeah. something to feed." And I would, I would love that because like I wish if we had a, imagine if we already had a VS now with all these delays, yeah. and they could just do like they could push out a firmware update that may have like a cool game to unlock and that you know yeah. kind of keep well, us. I mean, those those could be the. You know, those could be the unlocks that we do while we're waiting for the next collections. You know, yeah. like we just do the unlocks and then talk about Dark Chambers again. It could be our game of the week, right? You know, while yes. we're waiting for a new collection. Um, but I so, don't think we're going to have that problem because as soon as the VS <laughs> does drop, we're going to have six cards to do. I know. <laughs> well, it's too much. <laughs> what collection awesome. would you consider Dark Chambers 7800 version to be part of? Like, where do you, where do you categorize that? Oh, if we, oh, yeah, like, so do you assign it Atari Collection 1, Atari Collection 2? Yeah. Um, either. These, I mean, uh, no, I would, we need, no, we need to start a new one, category. Call whatever it one 2600 Dark Chambers is not on, that would be, I would assign it to then one, I guess, because Dark Chambers isn't on one. You could do that. Or That's what if we just called it, what if we just called it VS Collection? All the games that are on the that are on the VS. That's true because you wouldn't oh, even yeah, be able to play it in handheld. Right, you right. You need a VS. Console. You need a VS to do it. I mean, there'll ah. be a mix of different publishers, and you know, but that'd be a cool sorting option too, right? Once you have them all unlocked, you can unlock by, un, you know, like That's sort by idea. unlocked games. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. That's neat. Very cool. Very cool. So, um, all right, cool. So we got to keep going because, yeah, you know, we're gonna run on time if we don't move. So it is time now for, well, yet again, not me participating in it, but it is time for <laughs> the Evercast Score Challenge. Sweet. And we have a winner. <laughs> the winner is Pete. 
Hey Crow, where's my I'm graphic? Yeah, oh, I, you have to you have to supply your own graphic. This, I can only first, I can only put me on over there. <laughs> <laughs> one more. I'm the worst game ever. Yeah. You just toss it up. And I just... ruled Hacky Sack. Like I like I took over that. Like I I went into Hacky Sack with 84 points total. I like, I had a 54 point on one, 30 on the other, and I didn't even get a point in uh, the skateboarding one. I was zero, and I yeah. went in Hacky oh, Sack, yeah. and I'm like, oh, Crow's just gonna eat me alive in this, mm. but. I could have I could have gotten a better score if I had done uh, halfway decent in the surfing because I thought I was going to get a lot but better uh, score in surfing, but I just mm. kept screwing it up. Um, I'm actually surprised I finished the BMX level because I didn't even know that had an end to it. Oh wow! And I was like, yeah. "What? There's a finish line?" <laughs> if I knew yeah. going in on my first run to do the jumps I did at halfway through, I could have got like a better score in that. Mm. Like. <laughs> like I actually started, I'm like, oh yeah, now I know how to play this. I could have probably got a much better score on that. And I, uh, for the half pipe, I actually had to practice that for a while because I could could not play it at all. I even had to go on YouTube to find somebody explaining how to play the game in order for me to even get a little bit of points on yeah. it. See, I don't know the, the skateboard. I had no if idea. I, if I cared enough, I would have practiced it offline, y'all. But this game is like the most tedious of, it, of every, any game we've ever played in the challenges. I just wanted to. Get I don't know, to get man. There's a lot of we played a lot of crappy games so far. <laughs> yeah, but this though, I couldn't get it. The controls are so bad. That's where the, if the play controls suck, then I don't this think one, the controls are bad. I, <laughs> this one's a it's this just one's a little brutal, right? Yeah, you, it's knowing what to do in the game, and they will tell win. you what to do. <laughs> Congrats! Yeah. yeah, it's all well. I mean, so as Pete definitely had it. It's all it is all about that hacky sack level. You just oh gotta, yeah, hacky sack you is going to grind game, that right? out, get yeah. all the points there, and then just pray that you get a couple of your multi Hacky sack is fun, actually. Like that Kill one. the seagull. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. That yeah. I I, I, love, I like that one. I, of of the mini games, that is by far probably the best. The yeah, best that's the only one I'm any good at. Like and I mean good, <laughs> like not great. I surprised <laughs> myself. That is that is awesome. California games is a classic. I have to you have to find out why. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of those. Like people love that game, and I don't like why. What are you like? Well, I'm I'm more of a fan of summer games than winter games, actually. <laughs> but yeah, California games I never got into. I'm Canadian, so I have to say winter games all the time. Well, like mm. it kind of reminds me if you guys remember for the for the NES TNC surf. Like most of us enjoyed the skateboarding yeah. and like the surfing was right. was tedious. Was, yes. I never. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that game yeah. was that game was kind of fun. I'd like Dude, to see I that. Have, um, That'd be I cool. Yeah, complete box. Wasn't that a? Was that an LGN? That's an LGN. Which one? Oh yeah, that is an yeah, LGN. LGN. Yeah. It's an NES game. All right. That would be that's cool. Another one to put it on a list. Yes. Why not? <laughs> yeah. That's the, probably the one we'll get because there's no license on that, right? That's very nostalgic. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I'm, well, I mean, I guess TNC was an old was an old license. I think it was actually a clothing line, kind of like old. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, old, right? it's a store. I think <laughs> they must be yeah. defunct by now, right? Back when surfing was the thing in the '80s, right? Mm. And skateboarding took off yeah. in the '80s, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm. um, that'd be cool. That'd be cool to see. So, what do we got coming up? Or oh, do you have the links? One. Crow should put, yeah. give you the links so you can show it on. Okay, here's the problem. The, yeah. uh, the winner for this week, there is no winner because there's a tie. What? There's a tie? Yeah, there's a tie. So I was so as the uh, former host, I get to break that tie. Or we could, I could put the link here in the chat. Somebody go in and break the tie. Okay, well, show the show it on the way, on the screen. Yeah, I was, I was just popping in That's the... You, uh, Rich. Come on, man. Yeah, I know. There we go. go. There we go. Let's go. Let's get it going, man. Let's show that screen. <laughs> all right. Don't show all any right. of your private information. That's all. No, no. We got. <laughs> what, 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 we got what, it. you were, what you were tied? Uh, it is tied between F16 Renegade and. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Uh, F16 Renegade and Romeo and Julie Cat. Ooh. Okay. They both have uh, eight votes each. Okay, so it's going to be. Um, I think the uh, the answer to this has to be uh, Romeo and Julie Cat. Otherwise, Ed's going to revolt. Uh, oh wait, well, wait. No, we got to vote. Won't be able, we got to vote. Won't be able to do it. Oh, yes, do F sixteen Renegade. Rom Romeo and Julie Cat is now in the lead. <laughs> All right, awesome. With can, nine you, can I go to the results without voting or no? Uh, yes. Hey, wait, uh, did Rich you, vote? If, Rich vote 15 F16. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ed, can you so play F16? 
No, I can't play. You can't play any of these games. Well, I, well, that was yeah. That was like because they're gonna involve using the left button. <laughs> but here's my the thing: is, my vote would should, be for Karate Champ anyway. So should we? Should we actually just uh, postpone it? Yes, yeah, so let's postpone since... it because Ed needs to participate. So we'll. Right. Sorry, it'll be two weeks from now. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we'll keep yeah. the polling open. Maybe it'll change. Yeah, the polling's open for another week, and we'll postpone it because Ed needs to play. If we all can't play, right. none of us play. <laughs> Except for Rich, right? Because Rich couldn't play for five weeks. So Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was a little different. different. But I am, different. I am almost fully You had to rebuild this house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am almost fully back in action now, too. So just yeah, about but, any uh, any cart except for maybe one or two. So I'm going to alter this so. to say that it's going to yeah, end. So, yeah, we'll, we'll postpone a week. And which is kind of good because I've got the uh, I don't even know if I'll be on Evercast next week because I've got I'm doing my extra life. Oh, that's right. Oh, nice. Yeah, doing oh, that's true. Yeah. Maybe you yeah. could just pop on. Yeah, I'll pop on. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing yeah. extra life. I, I'm gonna kick it off next week at six a.m. in the morning, so I'll be nice. doing my extra life. That's awesome. That's and awesome. Uh, the chat always gets to pick which restaurant I get my food from. It's pretty fun. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, you guys better get on over there and and support that because that is awesome. The extra yeah, life stream is, is and, always uh, huge. I'm trying to raise total this year. So far, YouTube is almost over 1,200 YouTube proceeds this year from That's my great. membership and my match on that. Yep. So I'm trying to get 2,000 because if I hit $2,000, I get a little extra light, light neon light, which would be nice. awesome. Plus, That's the kids awesome. get $2,000. That's a sixth. So come on, do it for the kids, guys. <laughs> yeah. Guys, you hear it in the chat. Do it for the kids. Go on, show up. And uh, it's usually a classy fun game of fun, of fun with this guy right up there. Thank you. So, I guess nice. we got to talk about the last two Mega Cats games, right? To finish I off, I think so. <laughs> yeah, That's it. Mega exciting. Cat Studios 2. <laughs> Let's do it. We talk about this guy right here. What do we got in here? Oh, yeah. Where you gotta, yeah, where you gotta switch and be your shadow and you gotta hit certain things. Yeah, no, yeah. I love this game and get the flowers. Yeah, what's yeah. the name of this one again? What is the name? Alter of Ego. Again? Alter Ego. Alter Ego. Ego. Yeah, this is this is a gr yeah. great looking game. Fun game. Just not a game that I naturally enjoy because it's a little bit too much thinking in it. Yeah. I like I like, like the particle games. effects going on in the background. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, this is a yeah. this is a great fun game. Um It uh, is fun, uh, but this game is way too short. Way too short. Really? I feel like 30 whole, minutes, right? Yeah, I beat the whole thing in 30 minutes. That's yeah. including Dang. me having to retry certain levels several yeah. times. Wow. If I cut if I cut out all the times I retried, the whole game is like 12 minutes long. Wow. <laughs> Dang. That's, <laughs> that's nuts. Yeah, it's really short. I didn't finish it's, it, but I like when Crow told me that, I'm like, I don't even know if I want to finish it now because I'll be mad. 30, <laughs> it's only 30 levels, and you can finish each level in less than a minute. Yeah. Wow. What would have helped this game if they randomized the, the, the things you had to do in each level, like add a couple randomization of it so that you couldn't mm -hmm. memorize it as like the pattern, what you need to do. So that would have yeah. helped, but that would have been a lot of work. So. Yeah. Yeah. But this is an indie game, right? So like, you know, that's yeah. the thing with indie games. They're always naturally going to be short. Mm -hmm. Even Anguna for an indie game and for a big RPG, action RPG, like well, RPG light, it's but not even... a long game. But even compared to all the other games on this cartridge, I could, this one you could finish in yeah. half the time as all the other ones. True, yeah, very mm. true. Yeah, super short. My tr throat's getting sore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's but, why we yeah. have eight games on here. I mean, well, yeah, no, I got no yeah. problem with yeah, it in a short game. Very Just cool, like, very cool. like people, it's good. They'll find out, but like, I'm okay with it being a short game to the point we got eight games on here, right? It's like, yeah. do you think Galaga is a short game, or Space Invaders or something? Well, they no, are because no. those, those are score based. So I know, but they're still like you're not you're if, not getting a new experience. Here's all the, the thing: time, if, there was, if there was a score, value. yeah, it's if just there an was infinite. a score assigned to this, there'd be. But really, the only reason no, I get what you're saying. Play this is for speed running. That's about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, but I get what you're saying. Like, but I I just used Galaga as something like you're not getting a new experience every level. It's the same game. It's just loops for high score, right? So, I look at that that perspective too. It's like at least at least you're getting thirty distinct levels with this game. Mm -hmm. But you're right. It doesn't have replayability though. Yes, is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, for the most yeah. part, it's like once yeah. you're done, you're done. You're done. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to really go back and play it. I mean, there was some trick. They they kind of switched things up near the end a little bit, but. I didn't realize it was so close to the end of the game. Right. So like Dark <laughs> Chambers, the endless looping, it's a score chase game. Yeah. You know, and yeah. 
you know, so that's that's that appeal to it. Like, but I don't feel like after 26 floors of of uh, dark chambers, I don't feel like playing another 26. <laughs> right. You know, I don't. I just don't. <laughs> but I I've enjoyed the ride to get there. Yeah. Like, if you've done something great, Pete, I think like why? Like, I love like the classics like Gallagher or Pac Man because. Those are like something about those games where they, they look deceptively easy, but there's something about them where you oh, keep yeah. going back. They're, and not, they're not easy. Space Invaders is one of the hardest games ever. Well, some they, they, they deceptively yeah. they look easy. If somebody just... argues with me that, I'll, you, uh, you, I'll ban you from Rich's Town. Especially <laughs> <laughs> they, they deceptively they Dude, look easy. Do you guys know I have that superpower? I can mm -hmm. ban people from other people's channel? Yeah. Like, I like, can. There it is. Like Donkey Maybe Kong, I work for it, looks, it looks easy, <laughs> but, it's, but it's difficult. And that's, what's, and that's what's so great about those games. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm dressing up as this year as uh, for Halloween, a big band hammer. <laughs> just, <laughs> I've just, just got a hammer. giant hammer costume with a YouTube <laughs> sign on the back. That's funny. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness! But yeah, so this one, um, you know, again, this was one of those ones where I haven't gotten to check it out in full yet because I just got them all back. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig in here. You know, this, you know, I'm I'm definitely I'm definitely looking forward to playing this one. Yeah, I like for the sure, graphics sure. on this game. The particle yeah. effects. It's just a yeah. it's just a good little looking game. Yeah. Yeah, the music the music's looking pretty cool too. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know. Very cool. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. It ain't dizzy music, so I like it. <laughs> oh, well the music changes like face. every five or ten levels in this game too. So you're not listening to the same so tune every three tunes. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> that's cool. That's very cool. At least it has cool. music. Yeah, that's true. Alright, so Last game on the cart. It's this guy oh, right here. I love this one. How do you pronounce Gloof? the name of this game? I don't know. Let's see. Is it Gloof? Gluff? Gloof, I thought. Gloof, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, Gloof? Oh, you ask, I think Gloof, maybe, right? Gloof? What about Gloof? Gloof. It's wouldn't that Gloof. be G-L-O-O-F? I mean, or umlaut over the U would would signify ooh maybe but i don't know i thought maybe it was like oh the the characters named backwards or rearranged or something like that and i was like that doesn't seem like it is <laughs> well the theme yeah. song is very infectious it's like remember when that kind of like yodeling song came out like 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 a while back it's like it's based it's like they kind of took it off of like that i can't remember the name of that song but it's it's very infectious so if it's something infectious like that, i don't mind that it repeats itself but uh, suppose, Corey, you're going to tell us how many levels are in this one. Three. 30. 30? Yeah, God. 30. Yeah. That's so but they take, it takes twice levels, right? as long to beat as Alter Ego. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it seems it seems like that is the um, that is the theme, though, of this cart. Like, you've got all these, like, shorter games. They all have, like, around 30 levels. Well, Debiter was, like, 30 levels exactly, too. I mean, yeah. Heroes. Well, yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it seems like they all try to stick with 30 levels, except for, like, Flea. <laughs> oh yeah um but this one the only problem i really had with this one is like you've got the ladders and they're like they move like escalators like super fast escalators mm -hmm. uh but the problem is like sometimes you just can't see what's at the top like you go up and you'll just shoot right into somebody that's just a monster it just happens to be there but you didn't see it because it was off screen so that's my mm -hmm. only problem with this game yeah this one looks a little weird it is. Basically, yeah, you have it's... to charge. Basically, it's one of those games where you have to uh, touch all the, the panels, the it's floor like pieces, line, to turn them red. But oh, the but the but the uh, the um, the gimmick in this one is that you've got to charge up your character in order to do that. There's a meter at the top. You could charge it up ten times. Yeah. That means you can change ten of them. If you run out, you've got to find another charging mat yeah. to charge up your character. It's like again. in the Gone. city city connection kind of. Yeah, it's kind of like I, a city connection yeah. game, but, yeah, but they yeah, took it to a much better. I like this better than city connection because I like. Oh the yeah, it's it's uh, better mechanic. Like and then you have them. to make your way to the it's exit different. once you do it. Yeah, I like. Gone, I, I really Gone. enjoyed this game. It's got platforming, kind of like you know, jump, but you know, it's got that good feel. Like this is one of my favorite mm -hmm. games on the curve. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. there's the, nice. the controls are just up, down, left, right, no buttons. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's pretty fun great Very looking cool. graphics good mechanic i like the charge mechanic like that's just yeah. i haven't seen that before in this type of game to be honest with you but mm. i haven't played a lot of these types of games but i don't know i like i really like this game yeah that definitely looks and fun. it does 
and it does get pretty challenging at the end, yeah. especially the last levels. Crazy. Well, just to get to the charge to charge stations, right? The little batteries that you have to get to, like sometimes they're like yeah. they're not easy to get to. The mm. last level, you'll have to fall through the bottom of the screen back up to the top many, many, many nice. times. Nice pro tip. <laughs> That's cool. That's very cool. Very cool. Yeah, that's definitely another one that I'm going to be looking forward to playing for sure. And um, I like how like they had the that level kind of looked like almost like a uh, Space Invaders uh, alien. Oh yeah, yeah. In there's actually the, in the later levels when as you start going through the game, the, those characters actually start shooting downward too. So you've got to dodge those lasers as well. Cool. <laughs> so yeah. here's so here's my. I mean, I like this collection and I like Pico too, but. The one trend I've noticed with some of these is it seems like with the studios, they put all their best games on the first collection. And then the second one is still good, but in my opinion, it's not as good as the not as good as the first one. Yeah. And I don't mm-hmm. know why that is. Intelligent <laughs> collection will be the uh, kind of opposite to that for me, because Cloudy Mountain's coming on the second collection. Mm-hmm. Which I think by itself is gonna be awesome. Yeah. 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 So you're saying that you like Mega Cat's collection one better than collection two? I think so overall. Because mm. like like to me there's 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 many great games on collection one, but like, there isn't a game like as good as Tanzer in my in my opinion. But like like Tanzer, Little Medusa, like Little Medusa, that's another puzzle game, but like Tanzer is like Little Medusa is good. It's so great because the just the, the art style and everything. And again, that goes back to I'll take I'll take a bullet hell, one hit kills. I love the I love the games that have solid controls where you can learn patterns. I don't like I don't like the games that in my opinion are broken oh. because the controls are just mm. It's funny, in my rankings, I have Collection 1 over Collection 2. Hmm. Because hmm. there's just, I mean, yeah. let me run Collection 2 is, is good, but it just overall, I think there's just better better games. I've never kind of noticed that. For me, though, the funny thing is, versus like Atari 1 and 2, like there's some games, like I wish all those games could be on one collection. Like, you know, there's some I, I like on more. Oh, Collection 1 has Tanzer. Yes. Mm. So that makes Collection 1 better already. <laughs> just for that alone, that's what I was saying. I mean, there's, there's other, yeah, I just listen to you. Yeah, I've just noticed awesome. that as being a pattern. He's gonna I mean, show us his box copy of. Yeah, Tanzer. it has Tanzer. Oh, cool! Yeah. You just have to mention it, and he brings it out. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he hasn't played it on a Genesis though. No, I haven't yet. I haven't had time to. But do you want? To? I got a whole stack of stuff here. That's why it's over here because I haven't played it yet. <laughs> hmm. So that's awesome. That's awesome. And so another collection wrapped up. So next week there is no more games to speak of as far as the collection goes. So we got to think mm-hmm. about some cool topics. Um, so what I'd like to do for everyone that is watching, um, why don't you toss them out either in the chat or uh, if you're watching this in replay, hit it up down below in the comments. Let us know what what do you guys what do you guys want to hear us chat about? Maybe there'll be some cool news that will drop as well. That'd be pretty. Well, cool. hopefully, we'll yeah. know this new handheld. That's yeah. a solid oh, that's right. color. That's right. Yeah, and an solid, update. solid that's color handheld thing. So, hey, we got some. Hopefully, we'll have some cool stuff to talk about. We always have some cool stuff to talk about. You know, we'll, we'll just yeah, we make we'll stuff just, up. We'll figure it. We'll figure it out. Right. <laughs> but that's how. That's how we roll. We all roll. We roll with it. It's all good. Um, we'll figure it out. You know, we're talking about this awesome, cool little system that we've we've all got. Um, it's very very cool. So. I just want to thank you guys all for showing up and and um, and coming and hanging out with us here on the Bacon Ice Cream Productions channel. Um, it's uh, you know Evercast is going to be here for um, you know a, a pretty good stretch. So you know, looking looking sub uh, to uh, him. Looking, He's looking so close good. to five hundred. Yes. <laughs> oh, every every you know television game. Yes, yeah. And we're we're waiting for those two. We're waiting for those. And he also said he found me. Yes. You know if you're watching this in replay and you know, you're. <laughs> You're like, wait, why am I not on Pete's channel? It's because it's here. It's here now. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> and I'll, I'll wrap you up in a giant, warm, retro gaming hug. Uh, it's good stuff. It's good oh, stuff. So <laughs> um, so what else you guys got? You guys got anything cool is going on in your channels this week? What's, what do you, what's, uh, what's going on? Pete, what's, what about you? Well, yeah, I got a whole rebrand. So what's going on? Oh, yeah. I got tons of videos coming out. Same thing. I've got some VCS content coming out this week. Polymega content coming out this week. Nice. Uh, Evercade VS countdown. Um, I've got a new new thing I'm trying that's going to come out next week uh, based on something. So it's my first time doing it. I stole the idea Ooh. from another Canadian YouTuber. So, All right. um, I'm so gonna that makes put it okay. my I'm going to put my idea spin on it. 
And then I've got my Extra Life, uh, the ninth year doing Extra Life next Saturday. Going to be streaming starting at 6 a.m. Pacific time. Going to be streaming Evercade, VCS, and Polymega the whole day long. Uh, nice. So come over, check it out, uh, support the channel, and uh, yeah, all proceeds go to Extra Life. Awesome. Awesome. Definitely get on over there. All right. Ed, what do you got? Uh, Tease this a little bit before, but I'm sure a lot of you are sort of aware of you know Metal Jesus' video that he did on the VS, and he yeah. briefly talked about the secret code section. So I'm I'm talking about I'm talking about that and my predictions of three games that I'd like to see to be unlock and a, a bonus of a fourth game, which which and I guarantee you the fourth game that I picked for a bonus no one's ever heard of. Awesome. I almost guarantee. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, no, I, I didn't know. know. We got some uh, nerd knowledge in this group. We'll see. We'll see. So we'll see what's that. going on. That's awesome. That's quite the challenge you're putting out there. Definitely looking forward to that. All right, Crow, what do you, what do you got uh, going on in the on your world oh, here? Well, right now I'm just focusing on uh, Zachariah Pinball, the retro tables, because I kind of nice. got uh, – I wasn't going to do it, but I got convinced to make a separate video for Dude, each one of the tables. tables. So um, okay. I've already – but the thing is I got, uh, I've got – Ten of them, well, six, four of them done, but the other six almost done. But I'm only going to be posting them one a week, so that's just gonna. Yeah, I might stream probably when I do play them, but when I make the videos, they're just going to go one a week. And those are the best tables, Crow. The, the retro and award tables. Mm-hmm. So I love the retro uh, tables, man. There's quite. A, I mean, that, that's easily going to last over half a year. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That's awesome. No, those Definitely. retro tables are that's my favorite way to play video pinball. Like I like like the you know the newer ones with all the flash and gas and ships and special effects, but it's the retro tables I just You should for. check out the EM tables. The EM tables are based on real tables. The mm-hmm. retro tables are reimaginings yeah. of existing tables. Okay, I'll check those out. Nice, nice. All right, cool. So that's uh that's awesome stuff. So now on here on the bacon ice cream channel you can expect to see some Atari VCS for sure because we got that fully operational and up and running. You can also expect me to finally find a cable to plug in <laughs> to this little guy and we'll do some Evercade uh, goodness. We might actually go back and uh, maybe do some makeup score challenges. Um, you know, we'll see, we'll see how that Yeah, goes. but you don't get to beat me. Um, <laughs> no. Retro challenge. Is, is that, that actually reminds me all my uh, videos for the older uh, challenges are done now so nice. i got caught up that's rich's awesome. master that's system awesome. monday is coming back uh master system mondays is coming back um we have in this box i'm going to tease it we have in this box i know what it is and i can't a wait very, <laughs> a very special thing that's still sealed it's still sealed i'm not showing the other side because it's got the open that box so my, my, hmm. my thing uh do you want me to open it right now no all right. I, it would make me sad. <laughs> so, but um, but it's it's very cool. It's very cool in here. It's something that I had when I was younger, and I haven't had it until now. And it is literally all because of you guys, uh, because everybody is watching, because everyone has supported uh, me and the channel. Thank you guys so much for that. But I'm super psyched for that. And then, of course, um, I did also um, find um, one of these guys. It's one of my my cool little mics that I use for my videos when I go out on on on-location shoots. There will be some on-location shooting uh, (laughs) coming very soon. And if you guys don't know who this guy is right here, the Atari Creep, Creeper, you guys are going to hear about him a lot more in those on-location shoots um, as he does something very special. He's just, he just literally wrapped up his, uh, his thing. And I know I'm a little late to the party. uh, My friend, but um, we're going to be doing some cool supporting of his efforts in the walk to end Alzheimer's. And if you guys don't know anything about that, I encourage you guys, please go to Chris Call, the Atari Creeps channel, and check that out. Uh, doing good stuff. Um, all um, we, uh, Of course, the main mission here at Baked Ice Cream Productions is to uh, bring you guys good times for great causes. That is, um, that is all uh, what, what we're about. So you guys should be in for some cool treats as soon as I can get all that stuff together and edit. You know, obviously we're just still getting getting into the swing of things again. But we uh-huh. do appreciate uh, you guys hanging out and uh, and and chilling out with us, guys. Evercade so, just tweeted out, we can't uh, believe that none of you suggested Pac-Man as a spooky Halloween game. The man literally <laughs> eats ghosts. Uh, <laughs> that's like, funny. He's not a man. That's, he's a pack. That's, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> that is wow. a critical. A that puck. is a critical. That is a critical miss, though. 
But <laughs> he is true. I mean, there is Pac-Man on Namco, though, right? He's, he's, he's literally. He's, it's he's in my there. new intro. Pac-Man's in he's my right, new intro. He's right there. There you he know is. What? I don't. I think we didn't mention it because I don't really think any of us consider that to be scary. I mean, technically, because of the ghost, sure. But... Yeah. I guess so. I guess so. Well, they're but, they're pretty common in Pac-Man's world, so they're not really that scary. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> that's fun times. That's fun times. So all right, all right, folks. Um, it has been fun. It has been an, uh, a cool time. Thank you guys so much again for watching and hanging out with us. And we will all, except for me, oh Pete, who will just drop in a little. We will all see you guys next week right here. For the Evercast. I'm Rich. You guys have been awesome, and we will catch you next time. Sure. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. This concludes our broadcast day. Click.